If you are a licensed customer of Remote Desktop Canary and the Remote Desktop Commander Suite, it's easy to integrate both products together. Specifically, you can set up the Remote Desktop Commander Suite to ingest Remote Desktop Canary testing results in its dashboard. You can do this in two different ways. The first way is to instruct Remote Desktop Canary to post the results of its synthetic RDP login testing to a table in the Remote Desktop Commander database. To start this integration, first create a standard SQL login for Remote Desktop Canary in your Remote Desktop Commander SQL database. Make sure your SQL Server supports mixed mode authentication so that standard SQL logins are supported. When creating a Remote Desktop Canary login inside the Remote Desktop Commander database, make sure you use SQL Server authentication and make sure you map the default database correctly. In most cases, the Remote Desktop Commander database is called RDP Reporter. Before saving this new login, go to the User Mapping page map the Remote Desktop Commander database to the Canary login, and check DB Data Reader and DB Data Writer. Once your SQL Server login has been created for Remote Desktop Canary, open up the Remote Desktop Canary configuration tool and check the Store Analytics and SQL option in your testing workflow. Click the ellipsis button to raise the SQL Connection Builder dialog and specify the SQL Server database network name or IP address, database name, username, and password. Click Test Connection when you are done to make sure everything is working. Finally, open up the Remote Desktop Commander client and choose the top level deployment status dashboard from the Reports and Dashboards menu. If Remote Desktop Canary is actively performing login testing, you should now see the most recent test results in the top-level deployment status dashboard. In some cases, Remote Desktop Canary may be operating outside of the internal network where Remote Desktop Commander is running and collecting data. For instance, you may be performing login tests from a VM hosted off-site in Azure that tests through your Remote Desktop Gateway. In that scenario, you should configure Remote Desktop Canary to post login test results to an external SQL Server database that is reachable to Remote Desktop Commander, such as Azure SQL Server, with firewall rules configured appropriately. Once you have configured Remote Desktop Canary to post login test results to an external SQL database, launch the Remote Desktop Commander configuration tool in order to let Remote Desktop Commander know how to connect to this external SQL database. Go to the Monitoring tab, check Connect to an external Remote Desktop Canary SQL DB for statistics and reporting, and then click the ellipsis button. Build a SQL connection string as shown before. Finally, click Save Changes and let Remote Desktop Commander restart its service. Then, launch the Remote Desktop Commander client and open the top-level deployment status dashboard from the Reports and Dashboards menu. If you've configured everything correctly, Remote Desktop Commander should communicate properly with the external SQL Server and show you the results of the Remote Desktop Canary testing in the dashboard.